Hey guys, sorry the video is kind of dark, I'm not in a really lit room, but um, I wanted to post this because uh, uh, as you know, um, I just got back from my friend's funeral uh, yesterday actually, and uh, whew, wow, it was kind of rough, um, but um, I know one thing for sure is um, the sad thing about it is um, you never stop being bipolar. You never stop being human, for that matter. Um, I'm not as down in the mouth as I was from the last video. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I know that my friend is in heaven. Also, um, I also know that, uh, like I said before, you don't stop being bipolar. You can't stop taking your meds just because you think that it's okay. It doesn't work that way. You will end up putting yourself into the hospital. That's not a good thing. Um... I'm going to let you guys look this up. It's an awesome verse. Uh, I just got done reading it, but I'm horrible at memory verses. So, um, But this one is in Philippians 4.4. 4. It is a great verse. It um, helps us, or at least helped me, through some pretty dark times. Um kept reminding me to look forward and uh, to uh, rely on others, not so much myself, but um, I know that uh, regardless of what happens, I have to keep my eyes on the prize. I have to keep God at the center of my uh, life. And uh, I know that um, my friend is in a better place, and he's with his wife, and he's standing next to Christ, um, and that in itself is uh, really cool. Now, I frown, but that's only because I miss my friend, and part of me wants to be selfish and say that no, I want him back here, but well, I have this idea in my head that um, that would really be bad uh, to take somebody away from something so to the point where we just don't understand what it's like up there and to be that selfish would be wrong, but at the same Time, I just want to um, get to a point where I can say it's fine. I can let this go. Um, I'm also struggling with some family issues here lately. Um, not going into details, but uh, it's been uh, kind of interesting and hard. Um, so. Yeah. Oh, and for the last video that I put up uh, before the death of a friend, um, the First John four four verse, you guys should definitely continue reading that, um, because there's more to that verse. Um, five and six is it's just amazing. Um, it doesn't stop. There, it, just like anything you read in the Bible, you have to understand the, um, what is it? Um, you have to understand the context. You can't take a verse out of context. You got to understand the past, where it came from, and um, what it's talking about, where it's heading. So looking at the whole picture, getting the whole idea 
that in itself is awesome. So this has been kind of a long video, and usually I try to keep it under like three minutes, but um, I guess I've had a lot to talk about. Uh, so once again, um, I know I brought up some verses for you guys to look up, but uh, I think that they're really cool, and they've helped me out through some really dark times. And uh, also just guys... Keep in mind that if you really do struggle with bipolar, um, stay on your meds, okay? Be in contact with your doctors and your friends and family and church. They're the ones that are going to help you through it. Don't let your mind trick you into thinking that, oh, I'll be all right, or this will be cool. It, that's not the case. Um, you get to the point where you start believing that stuff and you end up in the hospital again. Um, guys, I'll be honest with you, I've been twice. And it's not fun. Um, I, uh, it's been difficult but um because of my friends because of my church and my family um and the huge support group that i have i've been able to get through a lot <coughs> sorry um but don't don't look that as a as a Unfortunately, not everyone is going to have a huge support group like I do. Um, so in that case, you need to start investing in finding people you know you can trust. Like get involved in your local church. Get involved in um, groups that you know are going to support you. Um, find out if they're a Bible-believing church and then just get involved. It's not necessarily easy. I say it like it's that simple, but it's really not. Because you're starting over. You you have to build relationships. And not everybody can do that. I know that. But um, I know I'm touching on some pretty hard topics. But at the same time, I just uh, want to... Just uh, keep you guys grounded in the fact that like meds are important, uh, your prayer life is important, your word time is definitely important, um, but fellowship is important too. Connecting with people, realizing you're not alone. Um, I will continue putting up more videos and I will also continue to share my thoughts and feelings. Um, and I'll keep going, uh, because regardless if, uh, whether it's I lose my job or if, uh, bad things happen, regardless, we still need to rely on God because he has a plan for us. We might not know what that is, but he has a plan for us and just keep moving forward, guys. That's all I can say. With that, you guys have a great week, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon, or, well, I'll post soon. <laughs> Take care.